A bright and shining good morning, fearless leader! Call it a hunch, but I think you're not feeling well. Was it the breakfast? Would you like me to have the chefs executed? That always cheers you up. <sighs> what am I going to do? My country is in shambles. The traditional legitimacy isn't holding up anymore. People don't care that it's always been that way. They want change. Well, sir, you have plenty of charismatic legitimacy. Such a winning personality, and who couldn't love that face? People aren't content with an illiberal democracy anymore. They want liberties and freedoms. Excuse me, what, what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm hungry. Do you have any mayonnaise? Look, you, you can't just come in here. This is my house. Mm. Brad Stevens, Investigation Bureau. That, that doesn't mean you can just come into my house. What, did you think you lived in a country with civil liberties? I am the government. I can do what I want. Yeah. Wait a minute. I, I thought we did have civil liberties. No? Oh, you must be thinking of civil rights. Oh, sure, we have some of those. Our government has no restrictions over ethnic, religious, or minority groups. But for everyday citizens, you have to do what I say. I'm hungry for roast beef. Chop chop. But I don't even have roast beef. Not my problem. And I'd like that on rye. How could this possibly fall under the power of a political institution? There's legislative, judiciary, executive, and bureaucracy. I don't see Delhi on there. I get hungry on the job. Then get your own damn food. I refuse to feed you. I like pickles on that, too. Okay, so maybe our people don't have very many rights. But at least we have elections. First past the post. Whoever gets the most votes wins. If they don't like us, it's their own fault. But don't you see? They're not competitive. Ah! Welcome to the election process. Dude, I'm so stoked to finally be able to vote. Well, as you can see, we have quite a few candidates this time around. There's, um, Duncan Cameron from the <laughs> Iron Fist Party. Then, of course, there's Sarah Ebert from the Iron Fist Party. Well, and then, of course, there's Alexander Roscoe from the Iron Fist Party. Well, wait a minute, aren't, aren't there any other parties other than the Iron Fist? It sounds a little overbearing. Oh, sure, you could vote for the Steel Fist Party candidate, Damian Marvin. Well, what's the difference between the platforms they're running on? The Iron Fist Party supports executions by hanging by, uh, horsehair ropes, while that radical Damien Marvin wants to use hemp ropes. But how do their larger political ideologies differ, such as the role of government and separation of powers? 
Well, they both pretty much believe in an authoritarian, unitary government. Uh, they agree that we should keep civil liberties to a minimum. Oh, the Iron Fist Party thinks that we should have minimal transparency in government, while the Steel Fist Party is strongly for none at all. And of course, the, uh, the president should have all the power, and the poor shouldn't get any money. I mean, they don't need it. And you should only be able to walk... Alright, so our democracy doesn't work. How are we going to fix it? Well, we could gradually institute a fair and balanced government with varying political parties gathering together a committee to draft a constitution giving liberties and rights to all our citizens. That'll never work. Aha! I've got it! We'll scrap the democracy and create a blend of communism and dictatorship. It's foolproof.